What's up YouTube? Since I posted that last video on what Nostra is and how it works, I've gotten a lot of questions about how individuals like us can run our own Nostra relays. And so today I'm gonna to be giving you guys a demo using software that we've already installed on this channel called Umbral. Umbral is typically thought of as like a self-sovereign way to run a Bitcoin full node, which is basically a full copy of the Bitcoin blockchain. But what we're going to be using Umbral for in this video is running our very own Nostra relay, which can basically back up all of the messages that we have personally posted to Nostra. If you're watching this video and you haven't set up an Umbral device, definitely check out the video that I'll have linked up in the cards, which is a full tutorial of how to set up your own Umbral full node. So go watch that and then come back here and I'll be showing you how to set up your own Nostra Relay on top of Umbral. So let's just go ahead and jump into it here. So here is my Umbral full node. It's been offline for a while, so it's currently syncing back up to full on its Bitcoin node software. But luckily for us, the Nostra Relay doesn't rely on you having a Bitcoin full node. So we should be able to get this up and running even even if you're waiting in that two or three day period when you initially load up your Umbral device and it's still syncing to be a Bitcoin full node. So let's go ahead and come down here to the App Store and we'll scroll down here on the right until we find something called Social and we will find here Nostra Relay. So here we're seeing your Nostra activity back up in real time. We can connect Domus, Amethyst or any other Nostra client and obviously not your Relay, not your data. So basically what this is doing is we're going to install this app on our Umbral full nodes and then all of the data that we post to Domus or Amethyst or whatever other Nostra client that we're posting to as our preferred Nostra client, these messages are going to get backed up on this relay that's, you know, probably stored in your house on a Raspberry Pi or some sort of equivalent device. So let's go ahead and click on install here. So while this is installing, we can come down here to source code and see that the source code for this application is public. And so if you do want to audit the source code for this Umbral Nostra relay at any time, you can come to this GitHub and check out how the code is working and even see the demo of their video that they post here. So we waited a little while there, it took maybe three to five minutes, and now our Nostra Relay application has been installed. So let's go ahead and click on it. So up in the top right, we see our Relay URL, and now we're going to go ahead and follow these instructions here to connect our Nostra client. All right, so we're over here now on our iPhones, and I'm going to open up Domus. So we're seeing over here in Domus, all we're going to do is click on Settings, which I think is up under My Name, and then Settings, and then we'll click down. It's actually not under Settings anymore. This is actually out of date here that you're seeing on the screen. So if you actually click on your face in the top left hand corner of Damas, and then you click on relays, you'll see the list of relays that you are currently connected to. And so you can go ahead and click on the plus in the top right hand corner. And then you can copy this relay URL from your desktop computer and paste it onto Damas here on your iPhone and just click on add. And so now here at the bottom, we should see wsumbral.local. And this is actually really cool. You can see that we're already following the update in real time. It just synced here. And so now everything that I post to Damas on my iOS should show up here on my Raspberry Pi Nostra Relay. So let's go ahead and make a new post here in Damas. This message will be back to my Umbral, Umbral full node video coming soon. Pretty cool. And so now literally real time, hopefully I didn't cut anything out there, but you could see as I typed that into my phone, the post was recognized by my node. And now that post lives on this Nostra relay that is living in a computer that I have complete control over. So I'm not trusting anyone. My message is totally backed up forever using a computer that I solely own and have full access to. And just to prove this, we can do this again. It's so cool how fast the message appears in my Noster Relay app on Umbral, the magic of JSON. And then I'll have a little magic wand emoji. And they're literally instant. As soon as I click send on Damas, it shows up here on Nostra Relay. So hopefully this has been a good demonstration of the magic of Nostra here. It was almost frighteningly simple to set this up. The next thing we're going to do here is we're going to follow the tip down in the left-hand corner and install tail scale on our Umbral and our devices for an uninterrupted connection between our clients and our relays, even when we're away from our home networks. So this was instant because I'm literally on the same Wi-Fi on the computer and on my cell phone here. But if I was off on the go and I wasn't home for like a week maybe, maybe if I was traveling or something. I still want my messages to get backed up. So next we're going to go ahead and install tail scale. So we can just click the link here and it's gonna take us back to the Umbral app store where we can see tail scale. 
And this is a zero config VPN to access our umbrals from anywhere. So let's go ahead and click on install. And again, if you're sus of these apps, which I think you probably should be if you're keeping any meaningful amount of money on your umbral full node, you can definitely check out the source code down here in the description of the app and look through the GitHub to see exactly what this is doing. If you don't have the time or the expertise to look through all of the code that's running these apps, which not even I do, I definitely don't have the time or the want to look through you know, how all these different apps are working. I think the safest thing that you can do is not put, you know, a meaningful amount of money or an amount of money that you'd be upset losing on your Umbral full node. All right, so after about a minute there, we have TailScale up and running and we can go ahead and log in for the first time. I'll go ahead and sign in with GitHub and authorize TailScale. Do you want to connect the device Umbral to the retre.github tailnet? This may give the device access to other resources in your tailnet based on ACLs. I'm going to go ahead and click on connect here and it looks like it's going to redirect us to our console shortly. So next we're going to need to connect our iPhone. So I can go ahead and click here on iPhone and I can take a picture of this QR code. Now we've got the TailScale app on our iPhones as well. So TailScale has downloaded on our iPhones and we're gonna click on get started and we'll click on allow. Put in our passwords. And we'll click on continue. We'll go ahead and sign in with the exact same sign-in method that we just used, which in my case was GitHub, and we will authorize TailScale again, and then click on Connect. And we'll allow. So now we have set up our Umbral to be VPN connected to our iPhones. So all we're going to do here is open up a brand new terminal, make this a little bit bigger, and we're going to ssh umbral at umbral.local, and we will copy our Umbral passwords and paste it right here into the terminal window. It's not gonna show that you've pasted anything, but if you have logged in correctly, you should be seeing Umbral at Umbral here in your terminal. And so now we're going to go ahead and copy this ping command from TailScale and make sure that we can get a response. It's saying if it works, we'll see number bytes from and then the IP address that it's giving us for our iPhones. So I went ahead and I pasted this command in here and I probably blurred it out hopefully to you know protect the IP address of my iPhone. And now I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. So I went ahead and entered and we're seeing that I did in fact get this response that tail scale was telling us to expect. I was able to transmit those four packets. There was no packet loss. And so now we are very sure that my iPhone tail scale is linked with the tail scale on my umbral full nodes. We'll say success, it works here. All right, guys, so once you've gotten success, it works here, you're gonna see something here that says set up DNS. This step actually took me forever to figure out, but I finally did figure it out. If we head back to the instructions here, it says once we've installed tail scale, you know, blah, 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 enable tail scales magic DNS and use WS slash slash umbral 4848 as your relay URL. So I had no idea what this meant. If you come over to tail scale, you'll see DNS up here. And under Magic DNS, you want to make sure, obviously, I think it comes enabled by default, but if your says enable, you're going to want to click enable on it so that we can use Magic DNS. And then the tricky part is back over here, Nostra Relay. I was looking for a long time to see where I could put WS Umbral 4848 within the tail scale DNS web page here, because I thought that this URL here, this relay URL that it's showing was the same as this relay URL up here. But if you look very closely, there is a difference between these two URLs. The one that we used the very beginning of this video says umbral.local and then the port number 4848. But in this link down at the bottom, it's saying ws slash slash umbral without the local 4848. And the difference between these two relay URLs is that this relay URL is only available on your home Wi-Fi network. Whereas this relay URL down here, that's called Umbral 4848, is available based on, if you come up to machines here in TailScale, it's based on the name of this Umbral device. So if we came in here and changed this name of Umbral to you know Raspberry Pi 46, then if we come back to Nostra Relay, we would have to actually call it WS Raspberry Pi 46 colon 4848 and add that relay URL, not to tail scale, but to our Domus app or our whatever our Noster iOS or desktop or Android app is. So how are we going to do this? We're going to copy Umbral 4848. We're going to come back to Domus here on our iPhones. We'll see that I already have it added here, but if we delete it, we'll see that if I go offline, if I go off Wi-Fi, if you don't set this up, when you go to type a message, this is an offline message. That message 
message gets posted, but it doesn't show up on our Umbral Nostra Relay app until we reconnect to Wi-Fi. And then we see there was a couple seconds delay there, but then we see this is an offline message, right? Because we hadn't set up this magic DNS URL down here. So again, if we go and copy this Umbral 4848, we can come back over to Damas. We can go back to relays, hit the plus button, paste in our Umbral 4848, click on add. Now we can see that we're following this relay again. And we'll see that not only do we have this umbral.local one that we probably don't need anymore, but now we also have this Umbral relay that is allowing us to talk through tail scale using this umbral device directly from our iPhones, even if we are not connected to Wi-Fi. So we're not connected to Wi-Fi. Let's go like a bunch of messages. We'll see that they show up instantly. We can go into our encrypted DMs and see our friend's blog post and say, I really liked it. And we'll see that that encrypted DM shows up. We can go onto the global feed and we can make a comment and we can say, I don't speak Chinese and we can hit post. And again, we are not on Wi-Fi. We are not connected to Wi-Fi. These two computers are connected through our tail scale VPN. And these posts that we're making on Nostra are immediately being backed up by our Nostra relay. The last little wrinkle here is I don't know if you you can take existing posts and back them up to your Umbral Nostra Relay app without going and duplicating all of those posts again. I think it's very possible that this could become a feature in the future, or if someone knows how to do this, definitely let me know down in the comments. But right now, I'm not seeing anything as part of the UI, at least, of this Nostra Relay app that allows you to take existing messages and pull them into this Nostra Relay. So hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. This last part that I got stuck on, it took me a while to figure out, so hopefully it was helpful for you to you know set this up immediately and not get stuck i think the rest of the tutorial was very straightforward it was shocking to me how easy it was to set up this nostra relay i think umbral did a really great job with the app if you do have any questions or you got stuck at any point please feel free to leave a comment down below i do still respond to all the comments and then let me know if you want to see any other umbral videos in the future or any other nostra videos in the future if there is some interest in some random app on the umbral app store i'm happy to cover it just again let me know down in the comments that's it for today i love you all see you next week.